Hello guys, welcome back to Chero Tips. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix fix controller or gamepad is not working or it is getting disconnected and how to fix this up. So let's dive into it. So the first step what you have to do is when you're having controller issues, a disconnecting issue, the first thing which you have to do from your end is you just have to disconnect and reconnect the controller. You have to try with that. You just have to disconnect and reconnect and you have to see whether the issue is solved or not. And if it's not working, you don't have to worry. You just have to follow all throughout the instruction which I'm going to give you in this video. The next is you just have to close your game. I mean, just have to close and you have to restart the game and see whether you are able to fix the issue up or not. If you're not done with this, then you just have to go for the third one is also parallel. You have to ex disconnect all the external devices like unplug the joystick as well as uh, the ped uh, the ped uh, pedals or any kind of things even the usb devices just have to uh, disconnect all the external devices and you have to see whether the issue is solved or not and if it's not working then we have solution number four solution number four is all about you have to configure controller in steam settings so you just have to go here at the top now you just have to go over here on settings over here now from here we have controller option you have to select this now from here there is an option called uh, over here on when you select this one then you just have to go for general controller setting you just have to go over here so this will take you to this and as you can see that the control is not detected yet so you just have to uh, configure the controller over here this is uh, the next solution which I can give so if it's connected to things and you just have to when it is detected here I haven't detected yet but I have connected it but if in case you just have to connect it and you have to I mean you have to configure it and this is what you have to do and moving on to the next solution is this is the fourth solution and moving on to the next solution is which can be done in the game itself which is called force feedback you just have to turn off force feedback so i'll be showing in the last which is uh, that is not much important but i'm saying you in part of it but you can try that also for some users in reddit by doing this this has worked so moving on to the next solution is all about the sixth one sixth one is all about you have to close logitech g hub if it is over there so as you can see g hub is this so if it is there you just have to quit it and you have to see whether the issue is solved or not and if it's not working you don't have to worry we have following one so next one is all about you have to go over here or means you just have to disable and enable steam input on your steam and on the game and see whether the issue is solved or not so to do this you just have to go over here on the forza horizon and you have to right click and you have to go to properties now from as you can see we have enable option right over here we have enable options you just have to uh, what do you have to do is just have to see over here you just have to enable this and you have to see whether the issue is solved or not and moving on to the next solution is also over here on the control also you have to do as you can see this is piece set into use default settings right so here you just have to go over here and we have disable steam in input as well as enable steam input so you just have to go for disable steam input and you have to see whether the issue is solved and if it's not working then you don't have to panic you just have to go back in the same uh, step and you just have to enable steam input and you have to see whether you are done with the issue or not and if it's not working yet then we have few more solutions which i can give you the next one is all about from here on the steam now over here in the steam as you can see at the top we have an option called big picture mode option here at the top as you can see the cursor we have big picture mode so you just have to click on this once you click on this you'll be getting an option like this now from here what you have to do is you just have to go over here on library and now from here as you can see you have to go for uh, the game you just have to click and here we have manage game options you just have to select this and over here we have controller option you have to select this and as you can see the control application the steam input per game setting is forced on so what you have to do is you just have to turn this off okay then you go for ok and you have to see whether the issue is solved and if it's not working just go back and change it to the forced on and go for ok and you have to see whether you are done with the issue or not and if it's not working you don't have to get panicked most probably by doing this the issue has to be fixed and if it's still not working then most probably you have to uh, you must be trying out with these are the basics here which you have to try out and most probably after trying this this has to be fixed and even if it's not working you just have to uh, try with this and most probably the issue regarding this has to be fixed that means the error regarding controller gamepad is not working or controlling getting disconnected and how to fix this up so this is about it and i hope this video is helpful and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out